What's up everybody? Justin here with my WWE Extreme Rules 2019 Predictions. Smackdown Live just ended. I'm happy I got to see Asuka on the show, but and Kyrie. But come on. Give them more than that. Like a one to two minute segment backstage. I mean, come on. And the Iconics, why can they just agree? I like them a lot. I just want to say that I'm a fan of the Iconics. But why can they just book themselves and decide when they're going to defend the titles? I don't get it. They just say, oh, we're not defending our titles tonight because they don't feel like it. Come on. Strip them of the damn titles or make them defend them. And I don't think it's even going to happen at Extreme Rules. Won't even be on the kickoff, which is sad. There will be no women's tag title match on the pay-per-view, which is pathetic and sad, WWE. I blame Vince because I... I truly believe Vince hates women's wrestling and doesn't care for it. He definitely doesn't book it like he cares. Only person he wants to book good is Becky on every pay-per-view. So, anyways, I'm a mark for Asuka and Kyrie. And where's Liv Morgan? Where the fuck is Liv Morgan? I like her. She deserves to be on the pay-per-view or the pre-show. She hasn't been on a SmackDown, I don't think, ever. To have a match since she was drafted there. In the Superstar Shake-Up. I don't think Liv Morgan has had one match on SmackDown yet. Which is sad and pathetic. The only guy, in my opinion, that cares for the women in WWE and would know how to book them right is Triple H and Paul Heyman. That's it. I, I actually trust uh, Triple H more than Paul Heyman to book women's wrestling better. Because uh, Heyman is more of a story guy. He just... Wants to put women in storylines. In my opinion, I don't think he cares for putting them in feuds and matches. So anyways, um, a small rant about Asuka, Kyrie, and the Iconics not defending and not even getting a Extreme Rules match. And where's Liv Morgan? Put her on TV. I mean, gosh. They're just wasting Asuka's talent and Kyrie Saints. I get it. They want them to go to Japan and have a J Japan live events. That's probably why they're keeping Nakamura and Asuka and Kyrie. Or that's why they won't let them go and release them. But my God, you're wasting Asuka's talent. And Liv Morgan and a lot of other women. And Kyrie saying she is incredible. The Iconics are incredible on the mic. And they're a good tag team. So, now to my extreme rules predictions. <clears throat> Up first. Let's go with uh, the Cruiserweight Championship. I don't know what is going to be on the pre-show. I don't know. I expect... Pro, uh, I expect probably to be a there will be a pre-show match. I don't know what it is, and I don't really care. Hopefully, it's not the cruiserweights. But anyways, back to the cruiserweight championship. Drew Gulak defends against Tony Nese. Should be very good. They had a very good match at one of the pay-per-views. I forget the name of the pay-per-view, but whatever. 
I think Drew Gulak has only been champion three to four weeks. So I don't see him losing. He should not lose. My prediction, Drew Gulak wins still the Cruiserweight champ. Let's go with up next, Alistair Black making his main roster. Or actually, I think that was at WrestleMania. I think Alistair made his main roster pay-per-view debut at WrestleMania with Ricochet. But anyways, his singles uh, pay-per-view debut, I believe. He hasn't had a singles match, I don't think, on a pay-per-view yet. Alistair Black against mystery opponent who was going to be revealed tonight on SmackDown. I thought it'd be Randy Orton or Bray Wyatt. It was neither. It is Cesaro. That's a good move in my opinion. Cesaro's a great worker. The guy could have a good match with a broomstick. Cesaro, that guy is... Uh, I don't care if he's 45 years old. That guy is one of the best wrestlers in the world. Cesaro, Aleister Black... At Extreme Rules should be really good. Alistair had a ton, a ton of really good takeover matches. So him and Cesaro will tear it up and deliver. A really good match. My prediction is Alistair Black wins. He has to. It's his uh, first singles pay-per-view match. Up next, let's go with... The SmackDown Tag Team Titles, by the way, unless they add it to the pre-show or pay-per-view. No Raw Tag Titles on the line. No Revival. No Usos. Not, they don't even have a match. But the SmackDown Tag Titles do have a match. They will be defended in a triple threat. Rowan and Daniel Bryan defend against the New Day. Kofi, not Kofi. Kofi's a champion. Against Big E and Xavier Woods, a new day, and against Heavy Machinery. <laughs> Tonight, uh, Otis, that guy made me laugh. Big E made me laugh. Big E was cutting his promo talking about, do you want us to touch our tips together? What are you saying, Big E? That Big E doesn't give a fuck. He'll, he'll say whatever he wants on TV. He'll tweet whatever he wants. Big E is a national treasure. Especially on Twitter. So then Otis of Heavy Machinery tonight on SmackDown. Otis says, we're coming. That made me crack up. Yes, I have a dirty mind. I thought it was funny. So, my prediction, Rowan and Daniel Bryan will win and retain, I think. New Day could win again, become like six-time, seven-time tag champs. Heavy Machinery would be a really good choice to win the tag titles. They really would be a good choice because they're a new, fresh tag team. On the main roster. So New Day and Heavy machine, Machinery. Both of them could win the titles. I would not be shocked. But. I'm going to just go with. Uh, Brian and Rowan. To win and retain. Up next. Let's go with the US title. This should be really good. They didn't. Have a very good match on Raw. Two weeks ago, it was, or a whole week ago. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't that long. At Extreme Rules, they should be able to put on a five-star, really good classic match. It should be a wrestling classic. It should be a lot of high spots. It should be damn good. Ricochet defends the U.S. title against a phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ is back with the club. The club is back. And it's just too sweet. I'm very happy they brought the club back. That's uh, awesome. 
hopefully they don't job out Anderson and Gallows right away. Hopefully they push them good and push AJ good. AJ, again, does not need to be world champion or WWE champion. He doesn't need to be universal champ or WWE champ again. He's a two-time WWE champ. AJ as U.S. champion would be nice. I would be all for it. But I'm going to I'm going to say the club interferes and tries to help AJ but they fail. Ricochet wins and retains. The guy just won the title a month ago at the last pay-per-view from Samoa Joe. He should not lose it a month later. So Ricochet wins and retains. Up next, let's go with uh, Bailey defending the SmackDown Women's title. Bailey defends against Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss. Two on one. Two on one match. This has been booked really bad. Really badly. They've dropped the ball. The beat the clock challenge was just, it was bad. I, I didn't enjoy it. The segment where Nikki and Bailey went face to face, that was bad. Stop scripting them so much. It was bad. You know, it's no fault of Bailey. She's trying her best and she's a good champion. Uh, Nikki Cross is also good. It's not her fault. But I feel like, in my opinion, they're pushing Nikki Cross too much, too fast. She shouldn't be following around Alexa Bliss like she's Alexa's little toy. And Alexa's just playing with her, playing with her, playing with her. And when Alexa doesn't want to use her anymore, she'll just... Throw her away like an old toy that she doesn't want to play with anymore. Um, I would like to watch uh, Alexa and Nikki play together, but that would not happen at Extreme Rules. So, so anyways, um, I don't like them putting Nikki Cross on. Raw and SmackDown back-to-back -back shows every damn week. I'm getting tired of seeing her. And they need to end this. If Bailey defeats Nikki and Alexa, they need to end the feud between Bailey, Alexa, and Nikki. But I bet you, I'm going to say it in a minute, I bet you they're going to book a fatal four-way for the SmackDown women's title. At SummerSlam. I bet they do a fatal four-way. And I'll tell you between who. So Bailey against Nikki and Alexa. Two on one. Bailey wins. And uh, Sasha Banks will save Bailey and help her retain. And at SummerSlam we're going to get Sasha. Bailey, Nikki, Alexa and a fatal four-way for the SmackDown women's title. That's what I think. So uh, Bailey wins and retains, and I believe Sasha will finally show her face and get off her ass from her vacation, from her time sitting at home. WWE sent her home because she wasn't happy. Well, it's time to get your ass back on TV and stop crying about things didn't go your way and you weren't happy. I don't know if Sasha was lied to by creative or Vince. I don't care. That's not right. That is not right. I do not agree with uh, Sasha wanting to sit at home for her entire contract and just let the contract run out or WWE will freeze the contract until it runs out and then so just so she can sit at home and go to AEW. I don't agree with that. Come back to work, Sasha Banks, where you belong in the WWE. You belong to be on the shows. You don't belong to be sitting at home doing nothing because you had a little 
tenter tantrum about losing at WrestleMania. So get your ass back to work. I am still a fan of Sasha. At one point, a couple years ago, two years ago, she was my favorite wrestler. But not anymore. She acts like a child, I believe. She needs to grow up, be more mature. Look at Bailey. She didn't take her ball and go home and want to stay home and not return because she's unhappy with creative. And I'm sure Bailey had every right to be just as upset as you, Sasha, but she didn't act like a child and go home. Bailey just, after WrestleMania, Bailey picked herself up. Acted like a professional, acted like a pro, and look what she got. A women's title reign. So anyways, Bailey wins and retains. And Sasha, you better fucking return. If you don't, I'll be pissed. Because you, you better, you deserve the, not deserve, you, uh, your ass needs to be on TV. Not sitting at home. It's not doing you any favors, uh, Sasha. You have a ton of fans still, and you're not you're not being good to your fans by just sitting at home still. And a talent, I'm not saying a talent should live for the fans. They should not. They should live for themselves and providing for their family. But again, if they're getting paid and Or they just want their contract to run out. That's bad business. I don't agree with that. You want to leave so bad, Sasha? Return. Stay there until your contract's up and leave like Ambrose did. That guy did it the right way. He worked until his contract was up. Then he cried and bitched on a podcast about it. But whatever. He had every right to. At least the guy. At least Ambrose stayed, or Moxley, again, at least the guy stayed and worked his entire contract before he uh, talked about the company on a podcast. So up next, last man standing. Should be really good after what they did on Raw, exploding through the LED board and all the pyro that went off. That was just fucking epic. It was so well done. It was perfectly done. It was awesome. So last man standing once again between Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley. I expect something big to happen again. Some big stunt or Braun is going to do something insane and destroy something with Lashley in it or something. Maybe Braun will put... Lash you in a trunk of a car and tip the car over. I don't know, but I expect something big to happen in the last man standing match. A really big, awesome spot. I'm not going to say it's going to be sh- a shocking spot. I doubt it. But I expect a big something big and awesome to happen. My prediction, Bobby Lashley. Uh, what? No, no. I'm changing my prediction. Braun Strowman wins. I think he has to win if they're going to build him back up to be the monster among men. He has to win that. So Braun Strowman. Now let's go to the, um, I don't think the WWE Championship will be the main event. I think winner take all will be. A mixed tag winner take all match will probably be the main event. Let's predict the WWE Championship. I could see Roman Undertaker main eventing also. Who knows? It's it's either going to be winner take all as the main event or no holds barred Undertaker and Roman as the main event against Shane and Drew. WWE Championship Kofi Kingston defends against Samoa Joe. This should be... Really good, really good. I don't expect Joe to win. I don't think there's a... There's no chance in hell. 
is a Vince McMahon theme goes. No chance in hell. Samoa Joe wins the title. Uh, Kofi could get cashed in on, but I doubt it. I think they're saving a cash in for SummerSlam or SmackDown on Fox. First episode. Maybe Kofi will get cashed in on next Tuesday when Bischoff is supposed to take over. Or give a lot of ideas next Tuesday and maybe, hopefully, his ideas make it on TV. If they don't, if I was him, I just want out. I wouldn't want to be executive director of SmackDown if Vince does not want to use my ideas. So Kofi wins and retains against Samoa Joe. It should be really good. Really good match. So, and, uh, by the way, Kofi is working injured. So hopefully he feels better on Sunday. Let's go with uh, Roman and The Undertaker against Shane McMahon and Drew McIntyre. No holds barred. It should be good. I don't expect much out of The Undertaker. I don't know how good he feels. He might even not even feel 50%. I don't know. But I expect choke slams, uh, old school Hell's Gate, and uh, what's that spot? Uh, last ride, maybe. That spot where he picks him up on his shoulders and throws him into the turnbuckle uh, snake eyes. I expect to see snake eyes. A lot of Undertaker punches in the corner. He doesn't got to do that much because Roman is his tag partner. It's a tag team match. I don't expect much out of the Undertaker. Again, he doesn't have to do that damn much. He's the Undertaker. All he has to do is show up, turn the lights on, and uh, kick ass and do choke slams and tombstones, and that's it. That's all I expect. Uh, Roman and Drew will carry the match, obviously. They're both freaks, freaks and freakish athletes. Shane McMahon, I hope he gets destroyed in a match by The Undertaker. I really hope he gets injured. Storyline wise, not for real. I don't hate Shane that much where I would wish for him to get injured for real. Storyline wise, I hope he's injured by The Undertaker and I hope he's carried out on a stretcher. And I hope he's off TV or I hope Roman takes him out and he's off TV for months, six months or a year. He should be off TV. I don't want to hear, here comes the money again after Extreme Rules. I do not want to hear, here comes the money for six months to a year. And if he is taken out in an injury storyline, well, he's still under contract, so he will be coming back, I believe, in six months or a year. I guarantee you they have Shane Russell or Vince, his dad, We'll have Shane Russell at WrestleMania 36, even though no fans want to see it. I don't, but he'll still wrestle at WrestleMania 36. I don't want to see Shane on TV anymore. I don't want to see him wrestle anymore. Yeah, he's a good heel. He's gotten himself hated. It's all how you have any announcers say the best in the world on and on and on i don't want to see shane anymore so i'm hope i hope he's taken out of the match and goes away and is and they say he got injured and storyline wise he's injured he's not coming back my prediction I want to I want to say Roman Undertaker, but Roman is lost to Shane at Super Showdown. He lost it. I think he lost to Shane twice on pay per views. 
Shane McMahon has not lost a match, I don't think, in 2019. Shane McMahon has not lost a match, I don't think, in 2019. He won the tag titles with The Miz. He defeated The Miz at WrestleMania. He defeated Roman. I don't think he's lost. So it is very possible Shane McMahon and Drew will win on pay-per-view again. Shane McMahon will get a victory again on pay-per-view. And he should not. I don't like it if Shane wins again. I like Drew. That guy's a beast. That guy should be in the main event. I'm tempted. I'm really tempted to say Shane and Drew will win. Because I don't think Vince is going to book his son to lose. I don't know why, but he seems like he's not going to. My prediction is Roman and Shane. Not Roman and Shane. You're right. They would never team up. Roman and The Undertaker is my final prediction. I'm staying with it. It is my original prediction. I almost changed it. Roman Undertaker have to win. They have to win. They just have to. Oh, please don't have Shane win again. That would be so fucking annoying. So uh, Roman and The Undertaker win. Uh, hopefully, fingers crossed. Knock on wood. <laughs> So now the main event, making sure I uh, predict every match. There could be another one or two matches added. I don't know. I don't care. There's already nine matches down on this paper that I have uh, predicted. Nine matches. You don't need to see 10 or 11. So now the winner take all match, probably the main event. Winner take all for the Universal and Raw Women's Championships on the line. Mixed tag. It's Becky, the Raw Women's Champion, and her boyfriend, Seth Rollins, against Lacey Evans and Baron Corbin. I don't like Corbin, but I'm not totally against him becoming Universal Champion for a week or a month. I'm not against it. I'd be okay with it. Uh, Corbin is not as bad and as boring as Shane. Shane is up here as the worst, the most boring on WWE TV. Corbin's like down here. He's still boring, but he's not as bad as Shane. Winner take all prediction. I love Lacey Evans. I'm a big fan of her. I will always support her. I like Seth. I like Becky. But they're not my favorites. I like uh, Lacey more than everybody in the match. So I'd like to see Lacey get the Raw Women's title. I really would. But I don't think it's going to happen. My final prediction is Seth Rollins, Becky Lynch win the mixed tag and retain winner take all goes to Seth and Becky. I don't know what the hell they're going to do with at SummerSlam with all the titles and feuds. I don't have a clue. I don't, I don't know who to put Becky against at SummerSlam. Maybe Ronda Rousey? I think that'd be a good idea. Ronda, Becky, one-on-one -on -one at SummerSlam. That's a great idea. They should do that. Paul Heyman should get on the phone and talk to Ronda. And try to get her to come back for one match. I don't know who would win. I don't have a clue who I would put over. Who I would predict. I don't know. I don't think Ronda would want to lose if she came back for one match. I mean, that's a big match. For SummerSlam, that is a big main event match. That could be the main event. Ronda against Becky one on one. Finally, they would go one on one. 
guess so. I would put Becky against Ronda at SummerSlam, but I don't think Ronda's coming back that fast. If she did, it'd probably be one match only. So anyways, um, Ronda is close to Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman booked her entire run in WWE, helped her out, so maybe she would do a favor for Paul Heyman and come back for SummerSlam again. I don't know. I hope so, because they got nobody else for Becky. They have built up nobody else for Becky. It can't be Lacey again. She's lost twice. And she's going to lose at Extreme Rules. Lacey is not going to defeat Becky for the title. No way. If it can't be Charlotte again. I wish it was Asuka, Becky, but they're not going to take Asuka out of her tag team with Kyrie For Seth. At SummerSlam, I don't know who they put him against. Maybe Roman? I don't know. If I was uh, Paul Heyman on Raw, I would say to Vince, I want Roman on Raw and I want to turn him heel. I would turn Roman heel if I was Paul Heyman and I'd put him against Seth at SummerSlam. So, hope you enjoy my Extreme Rules 2019 predictions. I'll be on Twitter at WWE NXT Guy on Sunday for Extreme Rules live tweeting. I'll probably do a reaction for Extreme Rules. I don't know what kind of reaction. Probably a reaction to Undertaker Roman. Against Shane and Drew, and maybe a reaction to the winner take all. I'm not promising to do two reactions, but I might. And of course, after Extreme Rules, I will do a review of it. Maybe I'll do a review on a live stream. I don't know. So, my Extreme Rules predictions are in the books. Hope you enjoyed them. What are your predictions? Leave them in the comments. I would like to hear them. Also, I would appreciate it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye for now.